Hey y'all, welcome to Chess's Lifestyle. Today we're making a juicy Cajun shrimp boil. So let's get right into this. So in a bowl, I'm gonna go ahead and add some butter. Now in advance, I'm letting you know I do have my oven preheated for 425. So I'm adding about three sticks of butter. You only really need two to be honest. So I suggest about two. My butter is just a little soft too. We're just gonna heat this up. So after that, I'm gonna add some seasonings. You know, the basic seasonings, of course, that Old Bay seasoning. I'm gonna add some Cajun seasoning since this is a Cajun seafood oil. Some garlic powder, some onion powder, and a couple other seasonings I will have listed below. And it's mandatory, we have to add some minced garlic. You can use fresh minced garlic, but who feels like doing that? I didn't feel like it, so I'm just gonna add some uh, minced garlic that's already pre-minced for me. Now this recipe is super simple and easy. One of the tips I do have, make sure you add some hot sauce. Depending on how spicy you wanna add more. Um, it seems like a lot of hot sauce, but trust me, it's really not a lot. <laughs> it doesn't add a lot of spice. Now I'm gonna heat that up for two minutes. While that's heating up, let's get ready. So I'm using some beautiful mini corn on the cob, some smoked turkey sausage, and mini potatoes. You can use larger potatoes. I do suggest boiling your potatoes first for about 15 to 20 minutes, about 15 minutes actually. Um, then we're gonna put them in the oven all together. So I'm using a fresh lemon. We're gonna use half for the lemon juice. Make sure you don't have any seeds in there. Our butter is pretty melted. I'm just mixing it up. You don't have to melt it all the way. Um, as it sits, it will melt even more. So we're just gonna mix that up really well. Taste it to see if it's to your liking, um, and then sit it to the side. Now I have some foil sheets right here. Um, I'm doubling them up. You always wanna do that. These are so simple, easy, and it's really, really good. Less work than a regular seafood boil. So I'm just gonna make a circular shape. <laughs> Add in my fixings. We have some corn, some smoked turkey sausage. You can use any sauces you like. Anything that is your favorite, I suggest using. I sliced my potatoes in half, and I'm gonna throw those in there, and some colossal fresh shrimp that are deveined and clean. And like I said, all the ingredients will be listed down below. Now after that, Make sure your sauce is mixed very well, as you can see, and I'm just gonna drizzle that. Um, half of it, since we're doing about two. Make sure you get those seasonings at the bottom as well. Mm, look at all that flavor. So after that, I'm gonna go ahead and place another foil sheet on top. We're gonna to secure this really good. Now, you will see me, I'm gonna um, sit my foil packets on top of a pan, because sometimes your juices like to drip out, but that's why I say seal it like this. I take extra time to make sure it's sealed very well. So we're just gonna throw that on there. On a baking pan and we're gonna move on and continue on to our next foil packet so the same steps as before just gonna make a little circle shape adding your fixings your corn your smoked turkey sausage your potatoes and your shrimp and you can add other stuff in there like boiled egg I forgot you know I love me some boiled egg so I definitely forgot that but you can add back boiled egg in there um, different stuff you like just throw it in there just make sure it cooks evenly Now I'm gonna take that butter sauce, the remaining in there. Um, I have a lot more seasoning on this, but it's so juicy and good still. Add a little bit more butter just for me. <laughs> now I'll place that, um, place another foil wrap on top. Your oven should be preheated by now. Like I said, place it on 425 for preheat. We're going to go ahead and bake this for a good 
25 to 30 minutes. Make sure you check it to make sure your shrimp are fully cooked and everything is nice and juicy. Oh, look at that. Bubbling and everything. See, perfect, so quick and easy. When you decide to recreate this dish, be sure to tag me on Instagram at Chaz's Cuisines.